We're here in Jacksboro, Texas, celebrating the completion of a recovery effort that started almost two years ago uh, with then over 300 clients that narrowed down to some 85 families that we have helped, some with very minor repairs, others with major repairs, and today the celebration of five homeowners who got brand new homes without any cost to them. Uh, thanks to the generosity of those who have supported uh, the effort here uh, through the city, through the county, uh, through partners like uh, Catholic Charities of Fort Worth, the Salvation Army, uh, and the United Methodist Committee on Relief. And the $1.4 million that came from them as a grant, together with the money raised by our own North Texas Conference, really was the major contributor to this effort. In not coming running to my car, and I call my son and I say, Hey, where are you? Say, On the house, mom. I'm back to the college and I'm here on the house. And I say, You're not sleeping because he started working around 5 30. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> I say, Well, you listen. You're not sleep. Okay. He calls back and says, Mama, the tornado just hit our house. And it's a rough one. Everything is so dark. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm just calling you to say that I love you, that you're the best mom I could ever ask for, and that, and that I love you very much, and then I love my family, and take care of my kid and my girlfriend, and this is insane. She's like, you're not going to die. You're not going to die. Just stay calm go to a closet. She made it to the house, but the house completely gone. The closet is like about, it was probably half of the size of that refrigerator. And her son is like 5'11", 6 point, I don't know, I don't know. He's, he's a tall guy. And in and and that closet, it was a dog and him. And they both came out intact. But the house, it was completely gone. Open and see the house, everything is gone. When see the tables, he have a storage on the bed uh -huh. because all the time he like bodybuilding shows, right. and all the time he do exercise. And he say when he see outside, the waist is very heavy. No waist outside, no house, no porch, nothing. Everything, everything flew away. I mean. There's a uh, defense, they had a fence, nothing left. These five homes are homes that have been built from scratch by volunteers from the Amish community in Missouri and Iowa under the leadership of the Mennonite Disaster Service. Now, what makes this particular recovery effort so special is that all the necessary and needed partners came to the table. Sometimes it's the faith community, sometimes it's the government side, uh, sometimes it's a little bit of, of either this time it was everybody. New home is the best, the best thing, but the more, more important is the whole family reunion right now. Because my husband is working on the RV, my son is in another house, the fiance is in another house, so this weekend, everybody's staying on the same house.